The Paper Mario series is a very popular series when it comes to Nintendo. It was getting better and better until Sticker Star. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that game. This video is about the original N64 version of Paper Mario. I've talked about this version before on my channel, Paper Mario in 13 minutes. Go watch it if you want. But in that video, it talked about Paper Mario, the N64 version, in 13 minutes. But in this video, I'm actually going to talk about Paper Mario, and I'll probably make this a series. I'm not really sure. Okay, so yes, I am going to make this a series. This video is going to be about N64 version of Paper Mario. The next video is going to be about Thousand Year Door. It's just going to be about every single Paper Mario game. But before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this, and follow all my socials that are on screen right now to learn about new video updates. And thank you guys so much for the support on my handheld Mario game video. I really do appreciate it, and I promise I will have more content like this coming soon. But anyways, let's get into it. The way this video is going to work is that I'm going to talk about the story, then the partners, then the music, the battle system, and then rate the whole game. The first game in the series is obviously called Paper Mario. Paper Mario released in 2000 in Japan and in 2001 for America. Let's get into the story, shall we? The story is what you'll expect. Bowser breaks in Princess Peach's castle, steals her, and this is something new. He literally zaps Mario out of the sky, literally. And so now, Mario and his new original partners will have to go through battles and obstacles to go save her. The first partner you encounter and actually pick up is Goombario. He's a big fan of Mario and always wanted to meet him. He can use Tattle, which is not a move, but you can use his move to know about the enemy you're fighting against and show their health bar. Goombario also has Head Bonk, Charge, and Multi Bonk. Cooper is up next and he has dreams of becoming an archaeologist like his hero, Colorado. His moves are Shell Toss, Power Shell, Dizzy Shell, and Fire Shell. Next up, there is Bombette, a lady who helps you explode walls to get to important or secret areas. Her moves are Body Slam, Bomb, Power Bomb, and Mega. A bomb. Next we got Paracarry. Paracarry is the postal office worker and is considered clumsy as he loses letters he gets, but later in the game he becomes Mario's partner. His moves are Skydive, Shell Shot, Airlift, and Air Raid. Next up we have Bo. Bo is the leader of the Boo's Mansion. No, not Luigi's Mansion. In fact, the game wasn't even out then. Anyway, Bo has a butler named Bootler that aids her around. Bo's moves are Smack, Out of Sight, Spook, and fan smack. Next up we have Watt. Watt is a female baby son that got saved by Mario after defeating a boss. Watt's moves are Electro Dash, Power Shock, Turbo Charge, and Mega Shock. Next we have Sushi. Sushi is a fish that joins Mario in the middle of his adventure and from what I'm reading, it says she loves romantic story and cries at the drop of the fin. Don't know what that's about but anyway, Sushi's moves are Belly Flop, Squirt, Water Block, and Tidal Wave. Next we have Lackey Lester. Lackey Lester doesn't like his name and usually likes to be called Michael or Spike. He is the eighth and final partner you pick up in Paper Mario. His moves are Spiny Flip, Spiny Surge, Cloud Nine, and Hurricane. The music in this game is so good and original. The reason I say original is because most Mario games usually remix 1-1 as songs for games like Paper Mario. The title music, the battle music, the level music is all so good. Fun fact, the battle music is actually my intro song. So a nice thumbs up from me. The battle system in this game is just like any other RPG. You're on one side and the enemy or enemies are on the other side. You can use moves like jump, hammer, or switch to your partner. There are different types of jumps, there are different types of hammers, and like I said, there are different types of partners. Now let's rate it. With this game being the first in the Paper Mario series, and honestly the best, I have to give it an 8.5 out of 10. People might disagree with me and say it deserves a higher or lower rating, but I think it's fine where it is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And before I go, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell and share this video with your friends to see if they know about Paper Mario, the N64 version. Make sure to follow all my socials that are on screen right now. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.